Hey everybody, welcome back to Nurse Love Addiction. Last time we got pulled into Itsuki's gaming doujin group and now we're going to be cosplaying a character for her and we also found out that we've got hospital training coming up which is what we're doing now. We are at the hospital the first day. <sighs> Let's try not to screw up too badly now. I mean, we're just supposed to observe. So what what could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> Narrowing my eyes in the summer sunlight, I look up at the impressive building. We had met up with Miss Sakia and Miss Itsuki in front of the dorm. Machi and Michi we had met up with at the Seiseki Girigaoka station, where we had taken the train to the next town. We had arrived at the general hospital that will be the stage for our first hospital training. It's big. Sure. Oh boy. Bear with me. Shiro Aigahama General Hospital. This is it. I feel a little nervous. The sweat on my forehead isn't just from the heat. Ikimashu. Appearing to be her usual self, Miss Sakia begins to walk towards the building. Oh, she's so sturdy and reliable. I secretly start a conversation with Miss Itsuki. Oh boy, I wouldn't want to be talking about this if Sakia caught wind. So this is what you were discussing? あ、張り切ってたんだろうけどね。随分遅くまで今日の。黙りなさい、いつき。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sakya lets out a sigh and Machi and Michi giggle. Our nervous tension seems to have dissipated a little. Now lets out a small laugh. I laugh a little as well. Hi, Ohayo gozaimas, Teto Kango no Minasan. The first person to greet us is the chief nurse. She's a sturdily built lady. She seems friendly, and I let out a sigh of relief. We stand with our backs to the wall while the chief addresses the nurses. みなさんすでにご存知の通り、今日は6名の実習生が入ります。看護の先輩としてだけでなく、人生の先輩として様々なことを教えてあげてください。Seniors <笑> in life reminds me of in kindred spirits when Helen <laughs> McKinley tells Yuna that she's her senpai in life. Oh my god, I don't know, that's that's exactly what that makes me think of. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like part of your job, I'd imagine, if you're at a teaching hospital. The nurses laugh. I'm a little surprised at how warm the atmosphere is. However, so this ne. Yakin 
the nurses who were on the night shift last night make their reports, the warm atmosphere of the nurse station tenses almost immediately. The chief briskly controls the flow of action. Reports are made one after the other. The nurses on duty for the day shift respond in unison. I can't help but be swept up in all of it. That's, that's cl classic Asuka right there. I lower my head and mumble quietly to myself. Miss Itsuki observes our surroundings. The brisk attitude that the chief had had while listening to the status reports changes into a bright expression. あさの検診があるから実習生たちは一人ずつ看護師についていって。いよいよね。患者さんに挨拶して回って話しかけられたら笑顔で話し相手になる。それが今日のあなたたちの仕事よ。じゃ、よろしく。えっと、大津千明です。今日一日よろしくお願いします。私は塩野木まゆみ。まだ二年目だから、あなたたちと三年違わないわ。あ、もしかして、私も帝都看護の卒業生。ミシ、ミシノ、シオノ、ね、ミ
Perhaps it had been the fact that I heard she was a graduate of Tato Nursing Academy, but she had seemed more like a school senior than a nurse who was instructing me. However, now that we're moving from hospital room to room, when she greets the patients, she's suddenly transformed into every bit the nurse. She's different from Miss O'Hara, but there's no denying that she's a professional nurse. <laughs> The patient, a middle-aged lady, says this with a smile. That is all she does, but it makes me incredibly happy. The hospital rooms that Miss Shionogi oversees seem to host most elder mostly elderly patients. I greet them and they give me words of encouragement. This cycle continues. I had thought there might be some unfriendly people, but everyone is surprisingly nice. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, not very professional. え、いいじゃないか。ね、ほら、ちょっとくらい。えっと。ダメよ、作さん。私が目を光らせてるうちはね。こういうのをうまく買わせるようになるのも仕事のうち。なるほど。勉強になります。食べ物もらうのに抵
She smiles softly and casually greets me. Miss Saria may be ephemeral, but perhaps because she's feeling well, she doesn't seem particularly troubled. She's cooperative towards the medical examinations and seems an extremely well-mannered girl. Everything finishes swiftly, with experienced speed, and the whole time I stand by the bed and merely watch. Prompted by Miss Sh Sh I'm sorry, I cannot say that name very easily. Prompted by Miss Shionogi, I attempt to leave the room when Miss Saria speaks. Shionogi-san! Uh oh. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'm still like not satisfied with what what happened with like Itsuki in the last the last video, but I keep like waiting for the ball to drop for like the other shoe to drop. I keep I get this feeling that something bad's about to happen. <laughs> Saying this, she looks at me and smiles. I look at Miss Shionogi. I had thought she would say no, but Miss Shionogi contemplates this for a while. Then she mutters, why not, to herself. An unexpected turn of events. あの。大崎さんはゆきちゃんの話し相手になってあげてちょうだい。ゆきちゃん、その代わり今日の食事は残さず食べるように努力すること。はい。ありがとう。しあのぎさん。じゃ、10分後ね。Oh boy. I don't know what's going to happen in these 10 minutes. But like I said, I just feel like something something crazy is gonna happen. Maybe something bad. Miss Shionogi leaves me behind in the hospital room. I don't know what to do at times like this. I'm supposed to talk to her. About what? <laughs> Always address the patient with respect. It had been written in the general nursing theory textbook, and Miss O'Hara had drummed it into us as well. How should I answer her? I fidget. Miss Surya laughs and answers my unspoken question. Every year, so she really has been in the hospital for many years. Her white skin that seems to have been crafted from porcelain seems to blend in all too well in the hospital. I cannot seem to find the right words. Wow, she's good. She seems to know exactly what we're thinking. Well, that makes sense considering how uh, honest. I'm too honest. She giggles. <laughs> I nod my head timidly. I stammer again. Now that I think about it, Miss Shionogi had called her Yuki, hadn't she? 
She hadn't spoken in a formal tone either. She had used more intimate language. I wonder if it's okay. I wonder. Miss Shionogi is a proper nurse and I'm just a student. Hmm. I decide I might as well. I'm simple that way. I'm not very good at working out difficult problems. I am the manager of the Jellyfish Club, after all. <laughs> Yuki turns her eyes to glance at the window covered by the beige-colored curtain. So that's what being in the hospital for a long time is like. That's depressing. But I imagine it's probably what it would feel like to be hospitalized for that long. Sorry about that, that was my bad trigger finger. As Yuki says this, she has a wintry grin on her face. How can she even laugh about it? My thoughts are in a tangle. I try to move my mouth, but I can't seem to. Okay, so Yuki seems like she's a nice girl. Maybe I overreacted. I just, this game, like, nothing is ever what it seems. Oh my god. Just, ugh. Yeah, which I guess makes sense, because Itsuki's words must be getting to me. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm upset with myself, although I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> Yuki tells me that she wants to hear about the nursing academy. So, until Miss Shionogi comes back, I tell her about several incidents from my school life. She had said 10 minutes, but Miss Shionogi ends up returning in more like 30 minutes. Perhaps it had been intentional? In response to my stories, Yuki had listened with amusement and rapt fascination. Well, that was sweet. It's a nice bonding moment with, her pa with one of the patients. After visiting all the designated hospital rooms, we nursing students meet up again at the nurse station. We are given a small break. I tell now about Yuki and she responds as happily as if it had happened to her. Oh, you don't understand, Sakia. Getting those kinds of words of encouragement make like all the difference sometimes. That's nice. Don't don't underestimate the power of conversation. It's great. <laughs> that was perfect response. I definitely feel like we haven't seen or heard the last of Yuki. Clearly that's a setup for something that's gonna happen later on. And also, why is why is Sakia pouting right now? Like, look at this face. I don't know. 
Miss Itsuki looks at me with cool eyes. Oh, uh oh. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh now it says this and everyone seems to agree that it can't be reversed now. What a relief. I look up at the ceiling. I remember Yuki in her bed. Her pale skin that didn't seem to know the sunlight, appearing like fleeting snow she had somehow matched so well with her hospital surroundings, as if it were a perfectly painted picture. But that isn't a good thing at all. <laughs> I think for the first time how late it is to be asking that question. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that rule is enforced to not exchange contact info with people so you don't get attached. Miss Sakia's words. There are many patients like her. Be careful not to let your emotions get the better of you. Mishio Nogi had told me the same thing, and Miss O'Hara had said something similar once during class. I'd like to think I do, but I'm not confident. Now knits her brow. Wow. Just gonna just gonna throw that out there, huh? Then Miss Sakia continues as if trying to convince herself. Machi and Michi nod. Now looks at the clock hanging on the wall. Saying this, I attempt to rush out from the nurse station, when suddenly... Crash! Something smashes into the wall. It's near the nurse station. I stop in my tracks. And then... Oh boy. Here's the other shoe dropping. Yuki's voice. God, what's with this music all of a sudden? Holy shit, this is creepy. It's like really intense. I head towards her voice. Standing there are several nurses and patients who have gathered in response to the commotion. Past the cluster of people with her back to the wall, Yuki sits on the floor. Through the cluster of people, I try to see what has happened to her. And then I see the stain spread under Yuki's bottom as she sits there against the wall, and my words falter into silence. 
hear the voices of the nurses. She had wet herself. For a 17-year-old girl to experience that in a hospital hallway with countless others watching. For Yuki, who had been so calm, to now be in such a complete state of disarray. I cannot move, as if my feet have been glued to the spot. I cannot speak as if my lips have been frozen shut. Sakio walks up next to me, biting her lip. Miss Sakio's voice reminds me of Miss O'Hara's words yesterday. When I had heard that, there had been a small pang of disappointment at knowing I wouldn't be able to do anything. But really, more than anything, I had been relieved. Not do anything. That meant I didn't have to do anything. That meant I couldn't fail, and I couldn't get in trouble. All I would have to do is watch. I mean, that's really my cup of tea. Comfortable. Carefree. Even now, there's the jellyfish part of me just floating around. Don't do anything that'll make things harder for you. Take it easy. The jellyfish part of me says as it picks its nose. What? <laughs> that's an interesting image. It would be completely correct. In most cases, no. Even in this case. So... Asuka? Why are my feet moving towards the cluster of people as if to part them? Nukeko. Oh, Asuka, you sweet, sweet girl. Made up my mind to do what? I feel my lower body relax. I can feel the warm sensation spreading slowly across my underwear, but it doesn't stop there. I feel it soaking its way out and trickling down my inner thigh. Really? That was your solution? I thought you were gonna go over and like be a comforting force, but you're just gonna make her feel not alone by wetting yourself too. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not the tactic I would have chosen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd drawn their attention already by stepping forward. Oh hey, Yuki's face. <gasps> For a moment, she speaks in a questioning voice, but it quickly turns to a gasp of surprise. <laughs> All I know is that the vibe surrounding me changes drastically. The liquid spills down my leg, well, the pee runs down through my socks and soaks my shoes. On the floor, a small puddle is forming. Yeah, this might have not been like the most practical way to do Yuki it. I look at Yuki. Between us, our little puddles connect. This is too ridiculous to take seriously. <laughs> Ugh. With all that crazy music, <laughs> too. I beam a smile at her, showing her this is all no big deal. Uh, does it? Does it really happen all the time? I have no idea what will happen after this, but... In her amazement, Yuki seems to have calmed down a little. Alright, all is well. 
Only, I do feel bad that there are now two people's messes to clean up. Also, you're gonna be uncomfortable for the rest of the day unless you brought a change of underwear and socks and, you know, you can dry out your shoes, but, you know. I just, I don't know if that's, like, the protocol there. I could understand if Asuka, like, approached Yuki. What I thought Asuka was gonna do, I thought we'd approach Yuki and, like, be a comforting force as, like, the girl we just connected with who's close to our age, you know, no big deal. But no, we decided to piss ourselves, which... Not, I just... If people are impressed by this... I mean, I guess it got the job done, Yuki calmed down, but... I, I would say this is not protocol for a nurse. You probably want to find other ways of calming down your patients in the future. Besides wetting yourself. In the back of my mind, I know this. And this is what happens afterwards. Yeah. Oh boy. I am in trouble. A lot of it. Yuki had been taken by a nurse back to her hospital room. And of course, I was told to change immediately. Now I went to buy a change of underwear for me at the hospital shop. I changed into my regular clothes and waited at the nurse station. I don't have a training outfit to wear anymore, so there's nothing I can do. The chief, who had seemed so gentle looking, is seething with anger. All I can do is brace myself. Hi. はい。あなたがやったことは彼女の心の傷を軽くする行為だったかもしれませんが、他の患者さんへ不衛生な環境を自ら作り出してしまったとも言えます。Oops。Simple I wonder what she meant by that, but I'm in no situation to ask. ともかく。今回の方法が最善の方法であったのかどうか。いま一度しっかり考えてみなさい。他にあの子の心を癒す方法はなかったか。恥ずかしさを軽減するための方法はなかったのか。はい。I remain helplessly downtrodden. では今日の反省も込めて、今後同じ場面に遭遇した場合、どのような処置が適切と思えるのか。レポートにして明日提出してください。え？え？じゃありません。今回あなたは看護師として、あるまじきことをやったのですよ。一人の患者さんだけしか見
Mishionogi told me secretly, but if a trainee causes trouble, there are times when the hospital will decide to stop accepting any future trainees. So apparently, to avoid this as well, Miss O'Hara is apologizing over and over. Oh, oh, you made a mistake. It's okay. Not the worst student ever. Your intentions were solid. <laughs> Miss O'Hara speaks to me. The chief had told me this over and over again. I'd been on the verge of tears. Holy shit, that's gonna be one hell of an apology. Welcome to the world of grown-ups. Oh man, I feel like I've been in this position before. I'm doomed. I've been delivered the finishing blow. I know I cannot complain, but... In the end, a single sigh escapes Miss O'Hara's lips. What emotions she held within that sigh were unknown to me in my doomed state. My mind is blank as I stand in the corner of the nurse station in a daze, furtively now approaches and whispers. Now so sweet. See, here's the thing. I love now as a character. I would totally want to date her if she wasn't my sister. Like, she's a great character, great person. Miss Itsuki also adds her appraisal. Yeah, I mean, what he, what Asuka did takes a lot of guts. There's no doubt about that. This makes me feel a little better. Miss Sakia says nothing to me. Well, that's expected. In fact, after the incident, until training finishes, I remain in the nurse station the entire time. Not once does Miss Sakia return, giving me no chance to talk with her. However, after hearing that Miss Sakia had been the one to take the initiative to clean out my mess in the hallway, I come to the realization that the classmate the chief had mentioned was her. <laughs> and undeniably embarrassed. Then, when the day's training finishes and it's time to go home, Asuka? As I step out of the hospital, I hear her call out from behind me. I turn around. I see it, transposed on her figure. My heart gives a small jolt. Having heard Miss Sakia had been the one to clean up after me, I'm so embarrassed I can't stop it from showing on my face. I'd like to think the evening sunset helps to hide the color. I can't stop my eyes from going down to her fingers. They're light and beautiful. Fingers that would look perfect playing the piano. Fingers that belong to a lady of class. And those fingers had had to clean my pee. Well, I imagine a mop was probably used. Maybe. Miss Sakia looks at me seriously, yet somehow there seem to be traces of a smile. Oh, she's being nice to us. That's all I've ever wanted. God, just want to treasure this moment for a second. Her voice is gentle. I am happy, so, so happy. For some reason, it is almost enough to make me cry. Oh, 
ちしてすみませんでした。That night I write and write my apology letter. This is tough. ねえ、ノウちゃん。Right? Seems a little overkill. But,、uh, yeah, I mean, how many times can you write it? To top it off, after this, I still have to write the report requested by the chief. I don't really even want to think about it. But I don't want to. Willpower zero. After what had happened, Yuki had been taken to her hospital room, had her body wiped, and changed into her nightwear. Tired from everything that had happened, she had fallen asleep, and I had been unable to say goodbye when I left the hospital. It was the one thing I had regretted not being able to do, so I quickly opened the message. The subject reads, To the Jellyfish Club Manager. Oh, Asuka, you told her about that? Ugh. I don't know if that's what I would have said, talked about. I say cheerfully. When I had been talking to her in the hospital room about my life as a nursing student, I had ended up telling her about the Jellyfish Club I had started in high school. Yuki had laughed as she listened. I read the message. Hey, that was really nice. <laughs> the words that followed were short. What does it mean to become a nurse? I still have no idea, but inside my heart, something has begun to twitch into life. I'll take my time and write her a response later. No, <laughs> don't! That's something I bet you never thought you'd say. Oh my god. If you say that. Actually, that'd be hilarious to put in an apology letter. <laughs> right? That's, that's not even an apology anymore. It's just, it's just pretty much saying, actually, what I did do was right. Was right. Oh my god. <laughs> Reprimanded by now, I write it properly afterwards. Both the apology and the report take until the morning. I hardly get to catch a wink of sleep. Oh my god, what did we just go through? First day of hospital training. Crazy. Well, at least it was eventful. Next time, we'll figure out, I guess, first term, midterm exams, how those went, and what else, what other stuff might be waiting. I mean, I'm pretty sure we haven't heard the last from Yuki. She's being set up for something, clearly. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get closer to what next time. Anyways, thanks for listening, as always.